Fur is a highly controversial garment that has been the topic of debate amongst politicians and the public for decades. The production of fur in the UK has been illegal since 2001, and by January 2012, every high street retailer in the UK, except for Harrods, have joined the fur-free policy. Above all, it is the production of fur which spurs anti-campaigners to passionately protest against the fur industry. A member of the Coalition to Abolish the Fur Trade, who gave her name as Thompson, spoke about the organisation and the campaign. We're an umbrella group, so we support lots of animal organisations. We also do a mail out to members of the public. Everything is reported on our website. We give out leaflets, we have petitions, so we tend to get lots of people coming over inquiring, and that's how we spread awareness. We ask people to let their friends know. Liberties have signed a fur free policy, so have Selfridges, Harvey Nichols, and House of Fraser. So Harrods is the last one left in Britain. We, we get a very, very good response from members of the public who actually thought Harrods had stopped selling quite a few years ago, but they haven't. Harrods don't need to give us a reason whatsoever. It's just for the, the, the vanity reason. I'm outside Harrods where anti-fur campaigners craft are protesting to persuade Harrods to cut its ties with the fur trade. It is hoped that these weekly demonstrations will convince the Knightsbridge store to join its competitors in a fur-free policy. After we contacted Harrods several times concerning their fair policy, they declined to comment. A recent RSPCA poll found 95% of people would refuse to wear real fur, so it seems Harrods' decision to sell fur has little to do with public opinion.